field of what looks like daisies delivers two extraordinary products. One is a natural insecticide and the other is an energy source that powers the local meat processor. The crop is actually Dalmatian pyrethrum and local company, Botanical Resources Australia, harvests and refines the crop to produce the 100% natural insecticide ingredient, pyrethrum. The processing leaves behind a brown, dry, dusty plant material, similar to bran. BRA pitched to Greenham's that they, they had, with their waste product, that they had something that could be burned in a boiler, was basically carbon neutral and a resource that was going to be available for many years to come. Greenham, Tasmania had some issues with their coal-fired boiler which supplied approximately 70% of the company's energy needs via steam generation. The boiler stack emissions were borderline compliant. Coal was becoming difficult to source, it was expensive, carbon intensive and a known contributor to greenhouse gas emissions. Those brown coal briquettes were very efficient in the boiler but not always a renewable source. We needed a constant supply of fuel. We also wanted something that was renewable if we could find it. We were lucky enough that that opportunity came along. VRA invested in the briquette making technology and testing began. It was immediately clear that Greenham's were going to need to make substantial adjustments to their boiler. Well, a couple of things that we did for the boiler to make this work, we had to find a way of getting the pyrethrum in there and spread across the grate correctly, which meant modifying flingers into the boiler. Then after that, the dust extraction itself, the fans that drag the air through the boiler. After several years of R&D and substantial investment, the HW Greenham board approved the construction of the Pulse Jet bag house to control the high emissions and an economizer to help cool the gases prior to entry into the bag house. Ash from the pyrethrum has a lot finer particles and everything than the coal. There's a lot more of them. And to be able to control that, we had to find a way of filtering out all of that ash out of the stack before it was released to the atmosphere. In the end, it was decided to use a bag house. There's 176 bags within the bag house fiberglass bags with a film over them to do the filtering. The requirements for running the boiler now are fairly similar to what they were before. That's run with the same staff as what we were using before with the coal. One of the major benefits of putting this in place is being able to have a carbon neutral product going through our boiler being able to reduce our emissions down to a level that is extremely low, it's been a great bonus overall.